Chinese doctor who warned of the novel coronavirus before the outbreak. Well, a man who's become incredibly well known around the world because of the coronavirus. Where Wuhan government owes Dr. Li Wenliang an apology. China does. China increasingly seeking to control what, what people know. And that was the problem in the beginning. You know, if Dr. Lee had been listened to in the beginning, if the authorities had acted in the beginning, we wouldn't have seen this virus escape from Wuhan all over China and then internationally. Li Wenliang was born on October 12, 1986 in Beijing, China. He is happily married to his pregnant wife, Fu Shu Ji and a proud father to his five-year-old son. He finished his study of medicine at Wuhan University and specialized as an ophthalmologist at Xiamen Eye Center of Xiamen University. In 2014, he became the ophthalmologist of Wuhan Center Hospital where he spent most of his profession. He is a respected doctor of the said institution and has no problem with his career. Not until the controversy happened. When did it all start? On December 30, 2019, when Dr. Lee posted on their WeChat group chat about the seven cases of an identified coronavirus from Wuhan Seafood Wholesale Market. He even gave warning code, remind your family members and loved ones to be on the alert. However, this post, or should I say warning, has spread rumors that even reached the police authorities. Upon knowing, the Wuhan police summoned Dr. Lee and made him sign an agreement to stop giving out false information for this will cause public chaos. Dr. Lee was still encountering patients with the same complications. One patient that he attended to was having glaucoma but also suffers from fever and lung infection. Fast forward in January 10, 2020, Dr. Lee felt the symptoms and needed to have medical attention. In short, he was being admitted to the hospital. How fast indeed was the twist of fate? A doctor which must be treating the sick is now the one being treated. On February 1, 2020, he tested positive for COVID-19. While in the ICU, Dr. Lee kept on posting on his Weibo app, quote, I was wondering why official notices were still saying there was no human-to-human -human transmission and there was no healthcare workers infected. He also added, if officials had disclosed information about epidemic earlier, I think it would have been a lot better. February 7, 2020, Dr. Li Wenliang passed away due to coronavirus. Dr. Li's death flooded over social media having the netizens' sympathy and at the same time, disappointment for the officials who could have done more to stop the pandemic. Residents of the city found ways to mourn the loss of Dr. Li's solitude. Some would shout out his name for grievances, created a song of tribute, and some drove their cars slowly through empty streets with the hazard lights on. The people honored Dr. Lee's death and everything he has done as a frontliner and as a whistleblower. He has even been tagged as the coronavirus hero. He, he told people the truth. And he could have saved millions of lives if the government had allowed him to tell the truth. Li Xiangshen's things let us see that a person who share some misconceptions and I, I think the majority of the people think he's, he's the hero. What if his claims were put into considerations from the start? What if the authorities didn't turn a blind eye to the possibilities? What are your insights? Just comment down and thank you for watching.